It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Everything that spike is snow. On the mindset, I just start. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Oh, words from the wise. I just start. We will never lie. Stand tall, he will never die, will forever shine. I the star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. Blessed love, pleasant good afternoon. Warm welcome, mindset program. I just am your host, and I want to greet you in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I the First, Empress Men in the First. Warm welcome in those beautiful and divine name. Yes, I one more day above ground and we're giving thanks for that. That is the ultimate position. Saying, yes, beautiful viewers and subscribers, great for you have the item right here on the platform. Saying, want to look upon an a issue or a topic um, that has seems to die down saying yeah seems to be forgotten yeah man but we not forget it none at all and we will never forget it saying yeah an incident that took place in a jamaica last year with a rastafari empress Empress by the name of Nzinga King. Her uh, hair was allegedly, not even allegedly, was cut by a police officer. Yeah, in Fort Park, Clarendon. And so far, not much of have come from this in terms of justice. So today we just go um remind some people that we haven't forgotten this situation. Right? And I've got a letter that I'm going to read out for the Hidem. Just to update the Hidem what is um happening and what will be taking place. A letter from the people anti-corrupt movement. See? Yeah. So, make we go in at the letter because we don't have no time for waste. See? The letter quote, On February the 3rd, Nzinga King will appear in the Maypen Parish Court and a charge of violating the DRMA protocol by not wearing a mask in the public. She was arrested for this on June 29, 2021. When she appeared in court, this charge on July 22, 2021, she was instead charged and sentenced for disorderly conduct. The background of this confusing legal situation is that Nzinga was in a taxi on June 29, 2021, along with a man and a woman with a child. In attempting to arrest the man, the inside of the car was sprayed with pepper spray by a policeman. Nzinga immediately got out of the taxi and not only took off her mask because she could not breathe properly, but verbally questioned the policeman for what he had just done. For this, she was arrested 
for not wearing a mask and, and taken to the Maypen police station where she was fortunately received bail. When she appeared in court on July 22nd, she, was, she wasn't charged for not wearing a mask as was as as um as was as expected but surprisingly for the disorderly conduct contrary to what was on her bail ban not only was the policeman not only was the policeman not in court on that day but the judge rather than postponing the trial until the policeman could appear to give evidence against her, proceed to seemingly find her guilty without a trial. She was never asked to plead guilty or not, nor did it bother the judge that she did not have a liar to defend her. And Zinga was taken to the four part police station and put in a cell until the judge imposed fine of six thousand dollars was paid for four days later by her mother. However, within a short period of time after her imprisonment, a police a police woman proceeded to forcefully cut her locks. She was seriously traumatized, and Zinga, by the way, is a Rastafarian. Issue arising from this and Zinga experience, followed by public outrage over the forced cutting of Nzinga locks. The police commissioner, Anthony Anderson called for an internal police investigation. What the police commissioner has not done, however, as is required in order to demonstrate his seriousness, is to remind the police as to what is the policy regarding these regarding the use of pepper spray. This has been happening too many, repeating, this has been happening to many, <clears throat> pardon me, this has been happening to many Jamaicans without any investigation by the police commissioner. He need to also state that the end of his internal investigation was right, whether disciplinary action should be taken against the policeman who appear who spray the pepper spray and Enzinga and others in the taxi while calling for an investigation in order the police commissioner also has a duty to state what is the policy regarding police abuse of those in their custody. He has been silent where this is concerned. Serious thing. The judge who sentenced her without a trial must be held accountable and disciplined. He had a duty to ask her to plea innocent or guilty. A duty to take into consideration the fact that she did not have a lawyer and most, and most important, the case should have been pulled off until another date. When the policeman who charged her could not or could have been present, without the policeman being present, where was the evidence? that she engaged in disorderly conduct. An important question also, 
is on what basis was she charged for disorderly conduct. A 19th century colonial law, when her bail ban said she was being charged for not wearing a mask. Wow. For some exceedingly reason, this fact has been overlooked by the Indicom, the public defender and the director of public prosecution. These bodies need to be explained how it has now come about that after seven months she is now being charged for not wearing a mask on June 29, 2021. They have so far said nothing. Wow, nothing. We hope also that on February the 3rd, the lawyer that is representing Nzinga will not falter in vigorously pursuing these issues without hesitation. This judge must be recused and cannot be the the trial judge on February the 3rd. We have still not determined his name. We the people who are oppressed in injustice against poor people must take a stand on February 3rd at the May Pen Parish Court to demand justice for Nzinga King. Be there. So, all those things have been outlined. She didn't have a lawyer, Zane, and she was put on trial, charged, and then sentenced. She didn't ask to plea if she is guilty or not. No. What, 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 type, of, what type of system? What, what type of system is that? What type? It, it, it seems like that type of system there is, you know, in in the seventeen hundreds. You know what I mean? Because you don't ask a person to plead guilty or not. What is your plea? You're guilty or you're not guilty. But you proceed to charge this young lady, Zane. For not wearing a mask. You charge her for not wearing a mask. Then when she turn up a court. Zane. You charge her again. For disorderly conduct. So which is it? Is it disorderly conduct? Or it's. The charge is not for. Not for wearing a mask. In the public space. Because right now, the thing appears to be confusing. And some people, is either them know exactly what them are do, or them don't know what them are do. It's one out of the two, you know. Zane, and my, my knowledge tells me, say, them know what them are do. Them know exactly what they're doing. See? Because them people that were run them space there, judge and police, and them are not dunce. Them are not idiot. Them have education. See? But them fee say, Rasta, far right children and people, no have no sense. So them can't charge one of his sister or with daughter with um, 
not wearing a mask in the public space, and then charge her again, saying, for disorderly conduct. Just madness. Because what? The system itself here is at fault. The system here is at fault because why? A, po a, a, pub, a police officer, which is a public servant, seeing a public servant, you know, that is there to serve and protect the public. They work for the public. Seeing these people who are, are public, they are, they, are, they are civilians. Now, you arrest a civilian, you spray the pepper, pepper spray in the civilian face, then you arrest, arrest them because, come on, you spray something like that in a concealed space. With a child pan top of it, a, 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 a baby was in the car. So the police, the police have no sense. Because that's where it, it, it appears. You want to lock up or arrest an individual. And you spray pepper spray in the car just to lock up an individual. You know, stop the car and, 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 and open the door and take out the man who need to be arrested. You know, spray pepper spray. Seeing where other people is in that space. Now, them police, they need, need training. Because it look like them now have no, 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 um, no training. You know, these things, them just get these, these, um, them get the guns and them get all of the, the little knick snacks will come with, with them gun and them badge. Seen? And them just deploy them as, you know, without any common sense. A man discharge him gun without any common, common sense. So, Nzinga, based on what we hear and what we are seeing, she's not at fault in any way, shape or form. Because... The policeman spray pepper spray in a can in a in a in a confined space. That is a car. It's not it's not outdoor. When you spray that, you know some of the breeze might just take with some of it. See? But you spray that in a confined space with a child. A baby in the car. Where a baby now nah, wearing a mask. What happened to the police? Them police there. What, what them supposed to be disciplined? Them supposed to be disciplined. Zin for negligence and incompetence. Because you cannot be a competent police officer and do something like that. When you know say a baby in a car and you spray pepper spray in a the car and then when the people them get out a, 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 a the car you 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 charge the people them for, 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 um, for not wearing a mask in public space you abusing the law and police like uno people need uno, the commissioner, the commissioner need, commissioner need to do something. The commissioner need to do something. Because that is not acceptable. That cannot be acceptable. The public no know say yo, for this incompetency, nothing no happen to them, Virginia. The public supposed to know say. You know, so them, them police they were did involve in that. We discipline them and it's either them 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 half work suspended for three 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 months or whatever without pay or something, whatever whatever the case may be. 
But these things just get shub under the carpet. And nobody not hear nothing about them again. That is a bad way to dealing with the public. Oh, the police is there to serve and protect. Now the police again cut the ear of this young lady. Cut her locks that she had grew from she a youth. See? We not hear any what what happened to that police officer? Are she being charged? Because if Nzinga go get charged for this um what what, what this orderly conduct, that is what she appeared back in a court for on the 3rd of February. Now, that police woman who forcefully cut off the little girl locks, that is assault. You assault that individual, that little girl, forcefully. Now, what should happen to that police officer? Because it no, it no, it no look like she forget suspended. You know? She forget more than suspended. Because she actually violate this young lady human rights. That is what she have done. She break the law in many ways. How oh dare you, boy, you are going to cut off um, Rasta locks. You forget about um, Coral Garden. Massacre, 1963, you don't forget. Listen, you don't do the right thing. You don't do the right thing and make sure that justice is served. The judge is our next one. How can you, in your intelligent space or educated space, charge or put a little girl and child without even asking her if she, if she plea guilty or not. And who is there to defend her? Which age and time una una live in her? Which age and time una live in her? Because it look like una live... Un, 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 un are living in a different time and space. I must say, Flimstone, back in the Flimstone days. Must. I do the right thing. My people, worldwide, globally, who are in Jamaica, it's on the 3rd of February. See? The 3rd of February, and Zinga will appear before um, the Maypen Parish Court or Clarendon Parish Court. See, she need your support. Um, please spread this um, message to your friends, your family. Please share it, you know what I mean? As much as the item can, would appreciate of that. All right? Yeah, would very much appreciate of that, honorable family. So, you know, we do give thanks. And um, I just want to share this bit of information also with the item this Sunday. See, we'll be live and direct um, from Ghana. And we'll be reasoning with um, a daughter, a sister, um, Goddess Akusia, seeing that um, has returned back to Ghana with her family. See, so we'll be reasoning with her on that um, note. So please don't miss it. It's this Sunday, um, 4 p.m. sharp, UK time, Ghana time. All right. So manners and respect, peace and love. It's been a great honor having the item on the platform here. Manners and respect. Rastafari. Yeah, that's 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 See you in the next video. I just thought that my mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you in the next video. I just thought that my mindset.